In eukaryotic cells, a true membrane-bound nucleus stores the DNA of the organism. And here's my diagram of a typical eukaryotic animal cell. And on the outside, we have the plasma membrane. We have some ribosomes, some 80S ribosomes, the larger ones. We can also see the Golgi vesicle and the Golgi body or the Golgi apparatus. We can also see a few mitochondria within the cell. And we also have some smooth endoplasmic reticulum and of course, rough endoplasmic reticulum. We have the nuclear envelope or the nuclear membrane and the nucleolus. Within the nucleus, we can see the DNA and the chromatin. So if we zoom into the nucleus, we are able to see the DNA and how it associates with histones and wraps up into chromosomes. So here it is, the DNA, which wraps around proteins called histones, which then supercoils to form the chromosome. Remember, the histones plus the DNA is a substance called chromatin. There's approximately two meters of DNA wrapped up in each of your body cells. And this DNA is linear, i.e. it is a thread of DNA that runs from one end to the other. So in order to store this macromolecule inside the nucleus, it must be wrapped up around proteins called histones. And histones have an overall positive charge, which attracts the negatively charged DNA, which coils tightly around them. And this association of DNA wrapped around histones is called chromatin. This chromatin now supercoils, a process where DNA and the associated histones twist around on itself, forming a super tight coiled, i.e. condensed package known as a chromosome. Now remember DNA in eukaryotes is linear. Therefore, genes are positioned at particular locations, loci, in a linear fashion. So if we take a look at a typical linear chromosome, for example, chromosome number 11, we're able to see the locus, i.e. the gene that codes for the hemoglobin protein. And we can also see the locus, the position, for the gene that codes for insulin. In contrast, prokaryotic cells, as bacteria I'm drawing here, prokaryotes have a single loop of DNA which supercoils, remember, twists and coils within itself, within the cytoplasm of the cell. Remember, prokaryotic DNA is not associated with proteins. And finally, very similar to bacterial cells, are mitochondria and chloroplasts. And they have their DNA, which is circular DNA, very similar to prokaryotes, free-floating within them, within the matrix or the stroma of those organelles.